Uttarakhand or, formerly Uttaranchal, is a state in the northern part of India. It is often referred to as the land of the gods due to the many Hindu temples and pilgrimage centers found throughout the state. Uttarakhand is known for its natural beauty of the Himalayas, the Babhu and the Tri. On November 9, 2000, this 27th state of the Republic of India was created from the Himalayan and adjoining northwestern districts of Uttar Pradesh. It borders the Tibet Autonomous Region, China on the north. The Mahakale Zone of the far western region, Nepal on the east. And the Indian states of Uttar Pradesh to the south and Himachal Pradesh to the northwest. The state is divided into two divisions, Gahal and Kumain, with a total of 13 districts. The provisional capital of Uttarakhand is Duradun, the largest city in the region, which is a railhead. The High Court of the state is in Nainital. Overview Archaeological evidence support the existence of humans in the region since prehistoric times. Among the first major dynasties of Gahal and Kumain were the Kunindas in the 2nd century BC who practiced an early form of Shaivism. Ashokan edicts at Kalsi show the early presence of Buddhism in this region. During the medieval period the region was consolidated under the Kumain and Gahal kingdom. By 1803 the region fell to the Gurkha Empire of Nepal and with the conclusion of the Anglo-Nepalese War in 1816 most of modern Uttarakhand was ceded to the British as part of the Treaty of Sukhali. Although the erstwhile hill kingdoms of Gahal and Kumain were traditional rivals, the proximity of different neighboring ethnic groups and the inseparable and complementary nature of their geography, economy, culture, language and traditions created strong bonds between the two regions which further strengthened during the movement for statehood in the 1990s. The natives of the state are generally called either Gahwali or Kumani depending on their place of origin. According to the 2011 Census of India, Uttarakhand has a population of 10,116,752, making it the 19th most populous state in India. A large portion of the population consists of Rajats and Brahmins. More than 88% of the population follow Hinduism. Muslims are the largest minority in the state with Sikhs, Christians, Buddhists, and Jains being the other major religions. Gahwali and Kumani along with other Hilly dialects and sub-dialects are the main regional languages, whereas Hindi is the most widely spoken language. Uttarakhand is the only state in India with Sanskrit as one of its official languages. Etymology, Uttarakhand's name is derived from the Sanskrit words Uttara meaning north, and Kaur to the first a meaning country or part of a country. The name finds mention in early Hindu scriptures as the combined region of Kadakhand and Manaskhand. Uttarakhand was also the ancient Puranic term for the central stretch of the Indian Himalayas. However, the region was given the name Uttaranchal by the Bharatiya Janata Party-led central government and Uttar Pradesh state government when they started a new round of state reorganization in 1998. Chosen for its allegedly less separatist connotations, the name change generated enormous controversy among many activists for a separate state who saw it as a political act. The name Uttarakhand remained popular in the region, even while Uttaranchal was promulgated through official usage. In August 2006, India's Union Cabinet assented to the demands of the Uttaranchal State Assembly and leading members of the Uttarakhand Statehood Movement to rename Uttaranchal State as Uttarakhand. Legislation to that effect was passed by the State Legislative Assembly in October 2006, and the Union Cabinet brought in the bill in the winter session of Parliament. The bill was passed by Parliament and signed into law by the President Abdul Kalam in December 2006, and since 2007, the state is known as Uttarakhand. History Ancient rock paintings, rock shelters, Paleolithic stone tools, and megaliths provide evidence that the mountains of the region have been inhabited since prehistoric times. There are also archaeological remains which show the existence of early Vedic practices in the area. The Paravas, Kushanas, Kunindas, Guttas, Gurjara Prashihara, Katyaras, Rakas, Palas, Chands, Palmas or Panas, Sikhs, and the British have ruled Uttarakhand in turns. The region was originally settled by Kuls, 
an Aboriginal people of the Austroasiatic physical type who were later joined by Indo-Aryan Khas tribes that arrived from the northwest by the Vedic period. At that time, present-day Uttarakhand also served as a habitat for Rishis and Sajis. It is believed that the sage Vyasa scripted the Hindu epic Mahabharata in the state. Among the first major dynasties of Gahal and Khomein were the Kunindas in the 2nd century BC who practiced an early form of Shaivism and traded salt with Western Tibet. It is evident from the Ashokan edict at Kalsi in Western Gahal that Buddhism made inroads in this region. Folk shamanic practices deviating from Hindu orthodoxy also persisted here. However, Gahal and Khomein were restored to nominal Brahmanical rule due to the travails of Shankaracharya and the arrival of migrants from the plains. Between the 4th and 14th centuries, the Katyuri dynasty dominated lands of varying extent from the Katyu Valley in Khomein. The historically significant temples at Jajeshwar are believed to have been built by the Katyuris and later remodeled by the Chans. Other peoples of the Tibeto Burman group known as Kiratas are thought to have settled in the northern highlands as well as in pockets throughout the region, and are believed to be ancestors of the modern day Potia, Raji, Bakshaw, and Theru peoples. By the medieval period, the region was consolidated under the Gaho Kingdom in the west and the Khomein Kingdom in the east. During this period, learning and new forms of painting developed. Modern-day Gahal was likewise unified under the rule of Palmas who, along with many Brahmins and Rajats, also arrived from the plains. In 1791 the expanding Gurkha Empire of Nepal overran Amura, the seat of the Khomein Kingdom. In 1803 the Gahal Kingdom also fell to the Gurkhas. With the conclusion of the Anglo-Nepalese War in 1816, the Gahal Kingdom was re-established from a smaller region in Turi as the larger portion of Turi, along with eastern Gahal and Khomein ceded to the British as part of the Treaty of Sukhali. After India attained independence from the British, the Gahal Kingdom was merged into the state of Uttar Pradesh, where Uttarakhand composed the Gahal and Khomein divisions. Until 1998, Uttarakhand was the name most commonly used to refer to the region, as various political groups, including the Uttarakhand Krinti Dal, began agitating for separate statehood under its banner. Although the erstwhile hill kingdoms of Gahal and Khomein were traditional rivals the inseparable and complementary nature of their geography, economy, culture, language, and traditions created strong bonds between the two regions. These bonds formed the basis of the new political identity of Uttarakhand, which gained significant momentum in 1994 when demand for separate statehood achieved almost unanimous acceptance among both the local populace and national political parties. The most notable incident during this period was the Rampur Taraya firing case on the night of October 1, 1994, which led to a public uproar. On September 24, 1998, the Uttar Pradesh Legislative Assembly passed the Uttar Pradesh Reorganization Bill, which began the process of creating a new state. Two years later the Parliament of India passed the Uttar Pradesh Reorganisation Act 2000, and thus, on November 9, 2000, Uttarakhand became the 27th state of the Republic of India. Uttarakhand is also well known for the mass agitation of the 1990s that led to the formation of the Chipko environmental movement and other social movements. Though primarily a livelihood movement rather than a forest conservation movement, it went on to become a rallying point for many future environmentalists, environmental protests, and movements the world over and created a precedent for non-violent protest. It stirred up the existing civil society in India, which began to address the issues of tribal and marginalized people. So much so that, a quarter of a century later, India today mentioned the people behind the forest Satyagraha of the Chipko movement as amongst 100 people who shaped India. One of Chipko's most salient features was the mass participation of female villagers. Both female and male activists played pivotal roles in the movement, including Chandi Prasad Bhatt, Sundalal Bayugina, and Ganshyam Rajri, the popular Chipko poet. Geography Uttarakhand is a total area of 53,484 akmas squared, of which 93% is mountainous and 65% is covered by forest. Most of the northern part of the state is covered by high Himalayan peaks and glaciers. 
In the first half of the 19th century, the expanding development of Indian roads, railways and other physical infrastructure was giving rise to concerns over indiscriminate logging, particularly in the Himalaya. Two of the most important rivers in Hinduism originate in the region, the Ganga at Gangotri and the Yamuna at Yamunotri. These two along with Badranath and Kedarnath form the Kota Chardam, a holy pilgrimage for the Hindus. The state hosts the Bengal Tiger and Jim Corbett National Park, the oldest national park of the Indian subcontinent. The Valley of Flowers, a UNESCO World Heritage Site located in the upper expanses of beyond a Ganga near Joshi Math in Awal region, is known for the variety and rarity of its flowers and plants. One who raised this was Sir Joseph Dalton Hooker, director of the Royal Botanic Gardens, Q, who visited the region. As a consequence, Lord Dalhousie issued the Indian Forest Charter in 1855, reversing the previous laissez-faire policy. The following Indian Forest Act of 1878 put Indian forestry on a solid scientific basis. A direct consequence was the founding of the Imperial Forest School at Dure done by Dietrich Brandes in 1878. Renamed the Imperial Forest Research Institute in 1906, it is now known as the Forest Research Institute. The model a Euro OE forest circle is a Euro around Dure done, used for training, demonstration and scientific measurements had a lasting positive influence on the forests and ecology of the region. The Himalayan ecosystem provides habitat for many animals, plants, and rare herbs. Two of India's largest rivers, the Ganges and the Yamuna, originate in the glaciers of Uttarakhand, where they are fed by myriad lakes, glacial melts and streams. Uttarakhand lies on the southern slope of the Himalaya range, and the climate and vegetation vary greatly with elevation, from glaciers at the highest elevations to subtropical forests at the lower elevations. The highest elevations are covered by ice and bare rock. Below them, between 3,000 and 5,000 meters are the western Himalayan alpine shrub and meadows. The temperate western Himalayan subalpine conifer forests grow just below the tree line. At 3,000 to 2,600 meters elevation they transition to the temperate western Himalayan broadleaf forests which lie in a belt from 2,600 to 1,500 meters elevation. Below 1,500 meters elevation lie the Himalayan subtropical pine forests. The upper Gangetic Plains moist deciduous forests and the drier Tridoa savanna and grasslands cover the lowlands along the Uttar Pradesh border in a belt locally known as Babhor. These lowland forests have mostly been cleared for agriculture, but a few pockets remain. In June 2013 several days of extremely heavy rain caused devastating floods in the region, resulting in more than 5,000 people missing and presumed dead. The flooding was referred to in the Indian media as a Himalayan tsunami. Demographics The native people of Uttarakhand are generally called either Gahwali or Kumani depending on their place of origin in either the Kumain or Gahal region. According to the 2011 Census of India, Uttarakhand is a population of 10,116,752 comprising 5,154,178 males and 4,962,574 females, with 69.45% of the population living in rural areas. The state is the 20th most populous state of the country having 0.84% of the population on 1.69% of the land. The population density of the state is 189 people per square kilometer having a 2001 a Euro 2011 decadal growth rate of 19.17%. The gender ratio is 963 females per 1,000 males. The crude birth rate in the state is 18.6 with the total fertility rate being 2.3. The state has an infant mortality rate of 43 a maternal mortality rate of 188 and a crude death rate of 6.6. Uttarakhand is a multi-ethnic population spread across two geocultural regions, the Gawal, and the Kumain. A large portion of the population is Rajita Euro including members of the native Gahali, Kumani and Gujar communities, as well as a number of immigrants. Approximately one-fifth of the population belongs to the scheduled castes. Scheduled tribes such as the Raji, who live near the border with Nepal, 
constitute less than 5% of the population. More than four-fifths of Uttarakhand a Euro unregistered trademark S residents are Hindus. Approximately 88% are Hindus. According to a 2007 study, Uttarakhand is the highest percentage of Brahmins of any state in India, with approximately 20% of the population being Brahmin. Muslims, Sikhs, Christians, Buddhists, and Jains make up the remaining population with the Muslims being the largest minority. The Gahwali and Khumani, dialects of central Pahari are spoken in Khumain and Gahal regions, respectively. Jaunsari and Potia dialects are spoken by tribal communities in the west and north, respectively. The urban population, however, converses mostly in Hindi, which is an official language of the state. Uttarakhand is the only Indian state to give official language status to Sanskrit. Government and Politics Following the Constitution of India, the state of Uttarakhand, like all Indian states, has a parliamentary system of representative democracy for its government. The governor is the constitutional and formal head of the government and is appointed for a five-year term by the President of India on the advice of the Union government. The present governor of the state is Assis Qureshi. The chief minister, who holds the real executive powers, is the head of the party or coalition garnering the majority in the state elections. The Uttarakhand Legislative Assembly consists of elected members and special office bearers such as the Speaker and Deputy Speaker that are elected by the members. Assembly meetings are presided over by the Speaker, or the Deputy Speaker in the Speaker's absence. A Council of Ministers is appointed by the Governor on the advice of the Chief Minister and reports to the Legislative Assembly. Uttarakhand is a unicameral house with 70 members of the Legislative Assembly or MLAs. Auxiliary authorities that govern at a local level are known as Pankhites in rural areas and municipalities in urban areas. All state and local government offices have a five-year term. The state also contributes five seats to Lok Sabha and three seats to Raya Sabha of the Indian Parliament. The judiciary consists of the Uttarakhand High Court, located at Nainital, and a system of lower courts. The present Chief Justice of the High Court is Baranosh. Politics in Uttarakhand is dominated by the Indian National Congress and the Bharatiya Janata Party. Since the formation of the state these parties have ruled the state in turns. Following the hung mandate in the Uttarakhand State Assembly election in 2012, the Indian National Congress, having the maximum number of seats, formed a coalition government. Current Chief Minister of the State is Harish Rawat who sworn in as the Chief Minister at February 1, 2014. Subdivisions There are 13 districts in Uttarakhand which are grouped into two divisions, Kremain and Gahul. Four new districts named Didi Hart, Ranaikhed, Kotdwar, and Yamunotri were declared by the then CM of Uttarakhand, Ramesh Pokhayal, on August 15, 2011. Districts of two divisions are as follows, each district is governed by a district commissioner or district magistrate. The districts are further divided into subdivisions, which are governed by subdivisional magistrates. Subdivisions comprise blocks containing Pankhites and town municipalities. According to the 2011 census, Haride War, Duradun, and Ugham Singh Nagar are the most populous districts each of them having a population of over one million. Culture Uttarakhand's diverse ethnicities have created a rich literary tradition in languages including Hindi, Khumani, Gahali, Jaunsari, and Potia. Many of his traditional tales originated in the form of lyrical ballads enchanted by itinerant singers and are now considered classics of Hindi literature. Ganga Prasad Vimal, Morno Horsh Yam Joshi, Shkha Joshi, Shailesh Matayani, Shivani, Mohanoprati, and Jan Pithawadi Sumitranandan Pant are some major literary figures from the region. Prominent philosopher and environmental activist Vandana Shiva is also from Uttarakhand. The dances of the region are connected to life and human existence and exhibit myriad human emotions. Lanvir Nritya is a dance form for males that resembles gymnastic movements. Barada native folk dance is another famous dance of Duradun, which is practiced during some religious festivals. Other well-known dances including Herkabal, Jumala, Chorfula, 
and Kalia. Music is an integral part of the Uttarakhand culture. Popular types of folk songs include Mangals, Bazanti, Kudid and Kapiti. These folk songs are played on instruments including Tol, Daman, Turi, Ransinga, Duki, Dao, Thali, Pankora, Mandan and Mazak Bajar. Music is also used as a medium through which the gods are invoked. Jagar is a form of ghost worship in which the singer, or Jagaria, sings a ballad of the gods, with allusions to great epics, like Mahabharat and Ramayana, that describe the adventures and exploits of the god being invoked. Narendra Singh Negi is a popular singer of the region. Among the prominent local crafts is wood carving, which appears most frequently in the ornately decorated temples of Uttarakhand. Intricately carved designs of floral patterns, deities, and geometrical motifs also decorate the doors, windows, ceilings, and walls of village houses. Beautifully worked paintings and murals are used to decorate both homes and temples. Pahari painting is a form of painting that flourished in the region between the 17th and 19th century. Molaram started the Gahal branch of the Kangra school of painting. Gaula state was famous as the cradle of Kangra paintings. Kumani art often is geometrical in nature, while Gahwali art is known for its closeness to nature. Other crafts of Uttarakhand include handcrafted gold jewelry, basketry from Gahal, woolen shawls, scarves, and rugs. The latter are mainly produced by the Pahatayas of northern Uttarakhand. The primary food of Uttarakhand is vegetables with wheat being a staple, although non-vegetarian food is also served. A distinctive characteristic of Uttarakhand cuisine is the sparing use of tomatoes, milk, and milk-based products. Coarse grain with high fiber content is very common in Uttarakhand due to the harsh terrain. Another crop which is associated with Uttarakhand is buckwheat, particularly in the interior regions of Kumon. Generally either pure ghee or mustard oil is used for the purpose of cooking food. Simple recipes are made interesting with the use of hash seeds jack here as spice. Bal Maitao is a popular fudge-like sweet. Other popular dishes include Dubaik, Chains, Cap, Chutkani, Batki Chutkani, Seri, and Gulgula. A regional variation of Kadi called Joy or Joli is also popular. One of the major Hindu pilgrimages, KUMBH Mela, takes place in Uttarakhand. Haridwar is one of the four places in India where this mela is organized. Haridwar most recently hosted the Purnikumar Mela from Makar Sankranti to Shak Purnima Snan. Hundreds of foreigners joined Indian pilgrims in the festival which is considered the largest religious gathering in the world. Kumani Holi, in forms including Bathki Holi, Kari Holi and Marilla Holi, all of which start from Basant Panchmi, are festivals and musical affairs that can last almost a month. Ganga Dasira, Basant Panchhami, Makar Sankranti, Gi Sankranti, Katarua, Bat Savitri, and Fuldari are other major festivals. In addition, various fairs like Hela Mela, Nanda Devi Mela take place. Economy The Uttarakhand state has been one of the fastest growing economies in India. Its gross state domestic product more than doubled from 24,786 crore in FY 2005 to 60,898 crore in FY 2012. The real GSDP grew at 13.7% during the FY 2005 a Euro FY 2012 period. The contribution of the service sector to the GSDP of Uttarakhand was just over 50% during FY 2012. Per capita income in Uttarakhand is 82,193 which is higher than the national average of 60,603. According to the Reserve Bank of India, the total foreign direct investment in the state from April 2000 to October 2009 amounted to 46.7 million US dollars. Like most of India, agriculture is one of the most significant sectors of the economy of Uttarakhand. Basmati rice, wheat, soybeans, ground nuts, coarse cereals, pulses, and oil seeds are the most widely grown crops. Fruits like apples, oranges, pears, peaches, lychees, and plums are widely grown and important to the large food processing industry. Agricultural export zones have been set up in the state for lychee, horticulture, herbs, 
medicinal plants, and basmati rice. During 2010, wheat production was 831,000 tons and rice production was 610,000 tons, while the main cash crop of the state, sugarcane, had a production of 50 58,000 tons. As 90% of the state consists of hills, the yield per hectare is not very high. 86% of all croplands are in the plains while the remaining is from the hills. Other key industries include tourism and hydropower, and there is prospective development in IT, ITES, biotechnology, pharmaceuticals and automobile industries. The service sector of Uttarakhand mainly includes tourism, information technology, higher education, and banking. During 2005 Euro 2006, the state successfully developed three integrated industrial estates at Taride War, Pontnagar, and Sataganj. Pharma City at Zalikwi. Information Technology Park at Sahastradhera. And a growth center at Sagadi. Also in 2006, 20 industrial sectors in public-private partnership mode were developed in the state. Flora and Fauna, Uttarakhand has a great diversity of flora and fauna. It has a recorded forest area of 34,651 a km2 which constitutes 65% of the total area of the state. Uttarakhand is home to rare species of plants and animals, many of which are protected by sanctuaries and reserves. National parks in Uttarakhand include the Jim Corbett National Park at Ramnagar in Nainital District, and Valley of Flowers National Park and Nanda Devi National Park in Chermalai District, which together are a UNESCO World Heritage Site. A number of plant species in the valley are internationally threatened, including several that have not been recorded from elsewhere in Uttarakhand. Prajorji National Park in Haridwar District and Govind Pashu Vihar National Park and Sanctuary and Gangatri National Park in Utakashi District are some other protected areas in the state. Leopards are found in areas which are abundant in hills but may also venture into the lowland jungles. Smaller felines include the jungle cat, fishing cat, and leopard cat. Other mammals include four kinds of deer, sloth and Himalayan black bears. Indian grey mongooses, otters, yellow-throated martins, barrel, Indian pangolins, and langur and rhesus monkeys. In the summer, elephants can be seen in herds of several hundred. Marsh crocodiles, gharials and other reptiles are also found in the region. Local crocodiles were saved from extinction by captive breeding programs and subsequently re-released into the Ramganga River. Several freshwater terrapins and turtles like the Indian sawback turtle, Brahmani river turtle, and Ganges softshell turtle are found in the rivers. Butterflies and birds of the region include red helen, the great eggfly, common tiger, pale wanderer, jungle babbler, tawny-bellied babbler, great slaty woodpecker, red-breasted parakeet, orange-breasted green pigeon and chestnut-winged cuckoo. Evergreen oaks, rhododendrons, and conifers predominate in the hills. Sharia robusta, silk cotton tree, Dolbajasisu, Malocus philippensis, Acacia catu, Buinia racemosa, and Buinia variegata are some other trees of the region. Albizia chinensis, the sweet sticky flowers of which are favored by sloth bears, are also part of the region's flora. A decade-long study by Professor C. P. Collar concluded that the Valley of Flowers is endowed with 520 species of higher plants, of these 498 are flowering plants. The park has many species of medicinal plants including Dactylohiza hetagaria, Picrohiza caro, Aconitum barlaceum, Polygonata multiflorum, Fritillaria royale, and Podopilum exandrum. Transport Uttarakhand has 28,508 km of roads, of which 1,328 km are national highways and 1,543 km are state highways. The State Road Transport Corporation, which has been reorganized in Uttarakhand as the Uttarakhand Transport Corporation, is a major constituent of the transportation system in the state. The corporation began to work on October 31, 2003 and provides services on interstate and nationalized routes. As of 2012, approximately 1,000 buses are being plied by the Uttarakhan Transport Corporation on 35 nationalized routes along with many other non-nationalized routes. 
there are also private transport operators operating approximately 3,000 buses on non-nationalized routes along with a few interstate routes in Uttarakhand and the neighboring state of UP. For traveling locally, the state, like most of the country, has auto rickshaws and cycle rickshaws. In addition, remote towns and villages in the hills are connected to important road junctions and bus routes by a vast network of crowded shared jeeps. The state air transport is not very well developed, although there have been efforts to develop Nani Saini Airport in Pitharaga District, Chennai Lysore in Utakashi and Garishar in Chermalai District. The major airport in the state is the Jolly Grand Airport in Duradun, which is well connected to Delhi. Another domestic airport is located in the Kumain region of Pornagar. There are plans to launch Ely Pad service in Pantnagar and Jolly Grand airports and other important tourist destinations like Ang area and Hemkund Sahib. As over 90% of Uttarakhand's terrain consists of hills, railway services are very limited in the state and are largely confined to the plains. In 2011, the total length of railway tracks was about 345 km. Rail, being the cheapest mode of transport, is most popular. The most important railway station in Kumon Division of Uttarakhand is at Kathgodam, 35 km away from Nainital. Kathgodam is the last terminus of the broad gauge line of northeast railways that connects Nainital with Delhi, Duradun, and Harar. Other notable railway stations are at Pontnagar, Lorquan, and Haldwani. Duradun Railway Station is a railhead of the Northern Railways. Harid War Station is situated on the Deal Euro Duradun and Hareha Euro Duradun Railway lines. One of the main railheads of the Northern Railways, Harid War Junction Railway Station is connected by meter gauge and broad gauge lines. Rural Key comes under Northern Railway Region of Indian Railways on the main Punjab Euro Mughal Sarai trunk route and is connected to major Indian cities. Other railheads are Rishikas, Kotwa and Ramnagar linked to Delhi by daily trains. Tourism Uttarakhand has many tourist spots due to its location in the Himalayas. There are many ancient temples, forest reserves, national parks, hill stations, and mountain peaks that draw large number of tourists. There are 44 nationally protected monuments in the state. Oak Grove School in the state is on the tentative list for World Heritage Sites. Two of the most holy rivers in Hinduism the Ganga and Yamuna, originate in Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand has long been called Land of the Gods as the state has some of the holiest Hindu shrines, and for more than a thousand years, pilgrims have been visiting the region in the hopes of salvation and purification from sin. Ganga tree and Yamuna tree, the sources of the Ganga and Yamuna, respectively, fall in the upper reaches of the state and together with Badranath and Kedarnath form the Kota Chardam, one of Hinduism's most spiritual and auspicious pilgrimage circuits. Harid War, meaning gateway to God, is a prime Hindu destination. Harid War hosts the Kamar Mela every 12 years, in which millions of pilgrims take part from all parts of India and the world. Rishikas near Harid War is known as the preeminent yoga center of India. The state has an abundance of temples and shrines, many dedicated to local deities or manifestations of Shiva and Durga, references to many of which can be found in Hindu scriptures and legends. Uttarakhand is, however, a place of pilgrimage not only for the Hindus. Hemkund, nested in the Himalayas, is a prime pilgrimage center for the Sikhs. Tibetan Buddhism has also made itself felt with the reconstruction of Mindraling Monastery and its Buddha stupa described as the world's highest, southwest of Duradun. Some of the most famous hill stations in India are in Uttarakhand. Missouri, Nainital, Ternalti, Lansdowne, Sattal, Amora, Kazani, Bimtal, and Ranaikha are some popular hill stations in India. The state has 12 national parks and wildlife sanctuaries which cover 13.8% of the total area of the state. They are located at different altitudes varying from 800 to 5400 meters. The oldest national park on the Indian subcontinent, Jim Corbett National Park, is a major tourist attraction. The park is famous for its varied wildlife and Project Tiger run by the Government of India. In addition, 
The state boasts Valley of Flowers National Park and Nanda Devi National Park in Chermalai District, which together are a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Basabthera Falls, near Badranath is a waterfall with a height of 122 meters set in a backdrop of snow-clad mountains. The state has always been a destination for mountaineering, hiking, and rock climbing in India. A recent development in adventure tourism in the region has been whitewater rafting in Rishikas. Due to its proximity to the Himalaya ranges, the place is full of hills and mountains and is suitable for trekking, climbing, skiing, camping, rock climbing, and paragliding. Rootkund is a popular trekking site, famous for the mysterious skeletons found in a lake which was covered by National Geographic Channel in a documentary. The trek to Rootkund passes through the beautiful meadows of Bijnal. Education On September 30, 2010 there were 15,331 primary schools with 1,040,139 students and 22,118 working teachers. At the 2011 census the literacy rate of the state was 79.63% with 88.33% literacy for males and 70.70% literacy for females. The language of instruction in the schools is either English or Hindi. There are mainly government-run, private unaided, and private aided schools in the state. The main school affiliations are CBSE. CISCE or the state syllabus defined by the Department of Education of the Government of Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand is also home to a number of universities and degree colleges. Sports, water sports and mountaineering sports in Uttaranchal is very popular and tourists. Adventure seekers from far and wide come here to experience whitewater river rafting in Uttarakhand. As Uttaranchal has got some great mountains and peaks where mountaineers love to climb. Skiing, trekking, ice skiing, sailing, parasailing, kayaking, boating, yachting and canoeing also serve as another interesting sports activity for tourists in Uttaranchal. The mountain rivers in the state offer some great opportunities for adventure seekers to enjoy sailing and parasailing in Uttaranchal. Golf is another sport which has a newly found love of the tourists in Uttarakhand, especially places like Ranikhe is serving as an attractive destination for golfers in Uttaranchal. Uttarakhand Cricket Association is the governing body of the cricket activities in the Uttarakhand state of India and the Uttarakhand cricket team. Grounds This is a list of stadiums in Uttarakhand Abhimanyu Cricket Academy, Duradun, Ambedkar Stadium, Duradun. Nainital Stadium, Nainital, Somnath Stadium, Ranaikha, Jeno and Chandra Upadhyaya Stadium, Pitharaga, Mini Stadium, Duradun, Mini Stadium, Kaladanji, International Sports Stadium, Haldwani, Rajiv Gandhi International Cricket Stadium and Mega Sports Complex, Duradun, Sports Stadium, Ugam Singh Nagar, Stevenson Stadium, Ugam Singh Nagar, see also. References Further reading, Rivet Kanak, J. H. Archaeological Notes on Ancient Sculpturings on Rocks in Kamain, India. Calcutta G. H. Raza, Aprati, Ganga Dutt. Proverbs and Folklore of Kumon and Gahul. Laldiana Mission Presser, Oakley, E. Sherman. Holy Himalaya. The Religion, Traditions, and Scenery of Himalayan Province. Elephant Anderson and Ferrier, London A., of Kamain. Raja Raja Deva. Sianika Sastra, or a book on hawking. Asiatic Society, Calcutta, Umacha and Handa. History of Uttaranchal. Indus Publishing. ISBN 81-7387-134-5. Excerpts, Hussein, Z. Uttarakhan Movement, The Politics of Identity and Frustration, a Psychoanalytical Study of the Separate State Movement, 1815 Euro 1995. Bar Riley, Prakash Book Depot. ISBN 81 85897 17 4. SHARMA, D. Tibeto Himalayan Languages of Uttarakhand. Studies in Tibeto Himalayan Languages, 3. New Delhi, India, Mittal Publications. ISBN 81-7099-171-4, Phonia, K.S. Uttarakhand, The Land of Jungles, Temples, 
and Snows. New Delhi, India, Lancer Books. Mukhopadhyay, Arutara Khan Movement A Sociological Analysis. Center for Himalayan Studies Special Lecture, 8. Radha Ramonpa, D.T. Darjeeling, University of North Bengal. Yuma Prasad Thaplayal. Uttaranchal, Historical and Cultural Perspectives. Beer Pub Corporation, ISBN 81-7646-463-5. Vichapal Singh Negi, Joranagar, Post Agastya Muni, Distradra Piag, The Great Himalayas 1998, External Links, Government, Official Website of Uttarakhand Government, Other, Uttarakhand at DMOZ, Resources on Uttarakhand, News, Policies, Documents, Articles, Photos of the massive destruction due to floods, Uttarakhand.